Welcome back to Eagle Classics. Bridgewater women's basketball could not have had a better start to the 2014-15 campaign. Opening up against 18th ranked Christopher Newport at home, the Eagles took a halftime lead and stuck in the game the entire way thanks to a defensive effort that held the captains to 33.8% shooting and just one of 18 from behind the arc. Cassidy Burkholder would ultimately get a chance in the final second to give Bridgewater the upset win. Tip goes to the captains and are quickly into the front court. Quick layup, no good there. Laid up by Stone, rebound pulled down by Lamb. The Eagles will go the other way. Eagles catching a nice break right there on that missed layup. Yeah, I, I mean, I think, you know, obviously anytime you have the ranked opponent on your schedule, it brings a little extra energy. I think playing at home had a great crowd, um, so that was exciting as well. And, you know, when you win games like that, it brings people back. And, and the one thing I remember after the game was that my phone was just blowing up with other coaches from the ODAC. And I think that's one thing that's really special about the ODAC. As much as you're a competitor when you play, you're a cheerleader when you play a team like a C and you get a win. For the captains, and they'll bring it down the floor. Quick dish off into lane near Stone. Has it pushed away by Burkholder and company. And the Eagles set up shop on defense. Near side wing Miller. Swings it out of the key to Cox. Cox calls out the offense. Dribble penetrate past Strom. Now kicks it out for a three ball. Miller decides against. Opposite side Ponzo. Ponzo out of bounds. I thought it went off of Burkholder, but it didn't. It was off Ponzo. Goes the other way. Eagles possession. Always nice to catch those breaks. Looks like both teams coming out in a man-to-man -man defense here. We'll see if they keep that up. Be nice to get the scoreboard to screen for you folks at home, so now you can actually <laughs> keep up with the game. Now Cantrell gets it into Burkholder, and the Eagles will go back to the offensive side of things. Burkholder brings it across the timeline. Dribble penetrate, lays it up off the glass, no good, but she will draw the foul and head to the line. The foul's going to go against number five, Jordan Miller, her first team second. Will draw Burkholder a pair at the charity stripe. And Burkholder, uh, the leading scorer returning for the Eagles this year, averaging 12.7 points a game last year. Looks like Christopher Newport coming out with a bit of a light press there. First shot from Burkholder is good. Eagles are on the board, 19.08 to play in the first half in Bridgewater with a one nothing lead off a free throw from Cassidy Burkholder. Burkholder in for her second. It is good and it's a two nothing Bridgewater College lead. Down to the front court, come the captains, Cox. Up top to Green. So it's at the opposite side. Ponzo, I thought she had a couple steps there. Now Cox near side. She dribbled drive. See if the foul goes against. No shot there. She'll head to the line. It's going to go against Strom. That's her first. Team first for the Eagles. It's good penetration there by the captains. I wasn't sure if it was going to go against Cantrell or Strom. Strom picks up the foul. Mm -hmm. Probably better that way. She's the point guard. Less likely to pick up fouls than Cantrell down low. Jumper on the way. It is good from Kendra Stone, and it's a 2-2 ball game. 18.50 to go, first half, we're just underway. It's a nice pull up Jay there from Stone. Burkholder gets a screen top of the key, dishes it down low to, to Kelly, lays it up and in, and it's a 4-2 Bridgewater lead. All sparked by that screen right there from Jessica Lamb. Just good ball movement there by the Eagles as they quickly move down the floor. Dribbling off the right side, Miller lays it up off the glass. No good, battle for the rebound underneath. Can be pulled down by the captains, and they reset their offense. Miller puts it to the top of the key for Cox. Cox tries to dribble by Strom, cannot. Now up top, nice drive there by Stone, lays it up off the glass. Charge drawn there by O'Sheen. Kelly, good work by O'Sheen to draw the charge and send things the other way, the foul. Way to set her feet right there, O'Sheen Kelly. Big turn of momentum early on in this game. The foul's going to go against Kendra Stone, her first team's third. Those charges, Cy, always uh, tend to get the momentum swinging in one way or the other. For sure, for sure. Christopher Newport's still in their press. The Eagles doing a nice job breaking it here early on, though. Burkholder dishes to Strom. Strom down low for, for Kelly. Kelly lays it up off the glass. No, it's good. Two points for O'Sheen Kelly, and it's a 6-2 Bridgewater advantage. Up top, Ponzo. Down low, stolen away by Strom. They telegraph that pass, and Strom there to take it away. Strom dishes it off to Burkholder. Burkholder sets things up in the wing. Cantrell, top of the key. Dishes it off to Strom. Bad pass there from Cantrell, out of bounds. Subbing in the contest for Christopher Newport, Makita Wright. And out goes Jalen Ponzo Wright, her first action of the game for the freshman from Silver Spring, Maryland. 
And you just can't have those turnovers, Tim. If they keep that up today, that's really going to hurt their chances here against a solid Christian Newport team. You're exactly right, Si. Those are the kind of passes, that the, the kind of turnovers that really are going to make uh, Coach Willie go batty over on the sideline. Cox dishes it off the top of the key. Right, her first touch of the game. Dribble drive, kicks it over in the corner for a three ball from Cox. It's no good. Rebound controlled underneath by Green. She goes up off the glass and in. Two points for the captains. They trim the Bridgewater lead to six to four with 17.09 to go in the first half. I'll tell you what, she is a big girl down there in the post, six feet, one inch. Strom brings it up across the timeline. Side of the key looking for Lamb, couldn't find her. The captains bring it down the floor, lays it up on the break. Is right, it's good, and it's a tie contest. Four quick points from the captains in a 6-6 ball game. Being harassed, now dishes it down low on O'Sheen Kelly, lays it up and in. Big points there from O'Sheen Kelly, and the Eagles have a 14-10 lead. And, and O'Sheen Kelly had a tremendous game. I mean, you know, she was a strong left-handed post player, a little harder to defend left-handed post players. I believe she had a double-double. Um, and, and I think for her, it just gave her a lot of confidence uh, moving forward from there. Her first action of the season. Captain's possession on the opposite side. Near side had trouble getting the handle on that pass. Did Ponzo comes up with it. Being defended there by Monday. I believe this is Monday's first action of her career as an eagle here. It is. It is. Her first action is definitely of the evening. Lays it up. No good off the glass. Cox battle for the rebound underneath. Going to be a shot clock violation on the captains. It definitely didn't touch the rim. I'm 100% sure it did not. It's going to be Bridgewater possession underneath the CNU hoop with a 14-10 lead. Cantrell gets it in play to Strom. The Eagles will work towards the front court. Strom gets it across the timeline. Good pressure there by Ponzo. Playing solid defense on Strom all afternoon, all evening. Whistle blows, see what the foul is. Goes against Ponzo. Coach Broderick not happy about that one. That's going to be Ponzo's first team seventh. Going to head. He's going to send the Eagles to the line. That'll send Strom to the charity strike. Got to say, this is early to be in the one and one for the Eagles here. And Bridgewater's going to be in a bonus for the next 11-32 of the first half. And, and, you know, at, at the current pace, side, they'll be... And the double bonus here with about eight to play. Yeah, I guess so. Strom's first on the way. No good. Rebound pulled down by the captains and Kendra Stone. CNU quickly moves it up to the offensive side. That's Miller. Up top, Stone. Stone down low for Green. Green kisses it off the glass, draws the foul. It's good. Rattles home. Foul's going to go against Oshin Kelly. I believe that's Oshin's first. It'll be the team's third. I'll tell you what, Camry Green here, she is quite the player from what I've seen early on here. Definitely their strongest asset down low there and definitely what the Eagles are trying to stop here. Certainly, she averages 14 and a half uh, points per game and 17 boards per game, so definitely a, a consistent threat for CNU this season. Just two games in, no, almost two and a half. Mm -hmm. Her shot's up, it's good. The uh, conventional three-point play is converted. And it's a 14-13 Bridgewater lead with 11-19 to play in the first half. Strom. Just it off to Monday. Monday drives. That pass not there. Uh, Cantrell, she wanted her to flex down. She did not. Captain's come the other way. Good tip, though, by Cantrell. Going the other way to get back on the defensive side. Tip it out of bounds. You got to love the hustle right there from Cantrell. Saving an easy basket. Keeping the Eagles alive here. The Eagles' defense has been stifling early on here. Let's see if they can keep it up. See what they can do here, and they force a number of CNU turnovers. Green on the inbound, up no good, but she will earn a pair at the line. Foul's going to go against number 30 for the Eagles, Jessalyn Monday. That's her first team's fourth. Her quarter going to come back in after the first for Green. Green's first, rolls it in the right hand. Took a little while, it's no good, rattles out. Burkholder checks back in for the Eagles, and out goes Monday. 11.05 to play first half, Tim Leister, Cy Webb, BridgewaterEagles.com, bringing the action this from Nine Inner Hall, non-conference women's basketball action, Bridgewater versus Christopher Newport on a brisk and chilly late November day. You got that right, it is freezing out there. <laughs> Green second is good, that'll tie the contest up 14 apiece. 11 and change to play in the first half. 
Cantrell looks to get it in and find Strom. Strom, a few dribbles there, gets it by Ponzo, across the timeline. Strom's got to settle down here early on, been a little turnover prone at the start of this game here. That's the one thing the CNU has done a lot of, it's been a lot of, of, of on penetration, a lot of contact there, mm -hmm. and that foul's going to go against Lauren Cox. That's her second, and team's eighth. Strom's going to go to the line, one and one. Checking in for CNU is going to be Mackenzie Fancher, and out goes Cox. As you said earlier, we're going to be in the double bonus here in probably two minutes if this keeps up. It won't take long. Strom's first on the way. It's good, rattles home. Show her in a second. And that's a 15-14 Bridgewater lead. Thank you folks at home for tuning in this evening. Strom's second also rattles home and it's a 16-14 Bridgewater advantage. CNU moves into the front court. Fancher up top green down low. Beautiful play there. Caught the Eagles. Stone lays it off the glass. It's good. We got a tie contest. I think that might be one of the first offensive sets I've seen so far in this game to go that smoothly. Uh, that old old, old fashioned flex offense yeah. that John Wooden made so, so popular. Burke Holder with the dish it off. Not dish it down low to Lamb. Lays it up off the glass and in. Looked like she was going to try to draw the foul. What a pass from Burke Holder right there. What a layup by Lamb. Jumper at the other end. No good. Rebound pulled down by Kelly. Eagles gonna, looked like they're going to try and push it down the floor. Then Burke Holder pulled up. Kick. That's Fancher. That's the side Miller. Miller drives to the foul line. Miller off to right. Right. Hard pass off the floor to Porter. She drives. Lays it up and in. Sam Porter with a layup. Trims the Bridgewater lead to 2018 with 8.26 to go in the first half. Pender brings it up the floor. And worked there by Jasmine. Now has it stripped away. CNU comes up with it. It's Fancher. Right. Brings it up court. Jumper on the way on the break from Miller. No good. Rebound pulled down by Porter. And the captains have set the offense. Now Fancher's going to look to drive. Pressure by Pender. A little bit too much contact. Jasmine with the foul. It's her first team's fifth. CNU underneath. Fancher gets it in play. Porter has it. Looked to have it stripped away. Be a jump ball. And it is. Good job there by Cassidy Burkle to reach mm -hmm. in a jump ball and possession will go to the Eagles. Into the contest for Bridgewater. Caitlin Lehan. Out comes Gabby Spinner. Some good minutes there produced by Gabby Spinner. In the last few moments of the, go of the ball game. Mm -hmm. She's definitely a presence down low there. Adds a big body for the Eagles so they can stretch the floor a little bit. Pender quickly to the front court for Bridgewater. Sets the offense. Being well defended by Fancher. Pender dribbles around. 17 left in the shot clock. Has her dribble taken away. Stripped down. Goes out of bounds. Off Pender. Possession goes back the way of CNU. Just too much dribbling right there. You got to, you, to uh, your offense, it's all about the passing. Too much dribbling there will result in a turnover just about every time. Yeah, that'll get Jess Lamb back in the game. Yeah, Jasmine just needs to know when to pull the ball up and when to put it on the floor. And, and that time they're just way too much dribbling around and CNU had an easy time now picking her pocket. Go the other way and Spancher across the timeline setting up the captain's offense. Spancher down low, Porter lays it up. She's going to draw a foul there. It's going to go against Caitlin Lehan and it'll send Porter to the strike. Porter's definitely been putting in some solid minutes off the bench here for CNU, penetrating to the hoop there. Got to find a way to stop her here. Order to the stripe. It's Leanne's first team six. We'll be in the bonus the rest of the way. Free throw on the way. It is good. That'll bring into the contest for Bridgewater, Deanna Dawson. Dawson, the 5'11 freshman from Baltimore, her first action of her career. 7.34 to go in the first half. CNU back to the stripe. It's Porter looking to tie the contest up yet again. Porter rattles out. Battle for the rebound. It's going to go to CNU right there at the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. Pulled down the board. Yeah, that's just like you said about being in the right place at the right time there. Miller drives, lays it up, being defended by Lehan. It's a good defensive effort by mm -hmm. Caitlin, but a better layup by Miller, and CNU takes its first lead of the game in a 21-20 tally. CNU has not had many easy baskets to be had here early on. Eagles' defense remains pretty stout. Strom the opposite wing, going to pull up with a J. No good. A little bit short. Battle underneath for possession goes out of bounds. Bridgewater ball underneath its own hoop. 
That'll be Dawson underneath with possession. Eagles need to try and get Strom into some space here. Great three-point shooter there. Dawson gets it into Strom. Jumper on the way by Jesse. No good. Rebound pulled down by Fancher. Seeing you quickly the other way. Miller, jumper on the run. No good. Dawson underneath. Pulls down the rebound. It's going to go out of bounds. Off of Dawson. Possession with the captains. And that'll bring us to our next media timeout. Fancher looks to get it in. Out of the timeout. Right. Opposite wing. Kicks it near side, Fancher. Fancher up top, three ball on the way by Wright. Rattles no good, Leanne battle for the rebound. Miller underneath, jumper right at the foul line, no good. Wright pulls the rebound down for the captain. CNU's been really good in the offensive glass mm -hmm. side. Yeah, they've been kicking our butts on those offensive rebounds early on here. And if this keeps up, that's definitely gonna hurt the Eagles' chances. Absolutely, three ball on the way by Fancher, no good. Battle underneath, Porter up off the glass, no good. Dawson battles for the rebound off of her. Gonna go the other way though. The CNU's Devin Bird with the grab at the last moment. Bridgewater's going to have to box out underneath mm -hmm. as the remainder of this game goes to your, your right side. That'll come back to really haunt you later in the game as O'Sheen Kelly and Heather Cantrell check back into the game for Caitlin Lehan and Deanna Dawson. Mm -hmm. I believe that was four straight offensive rebounds right there. You just can't let that happen. No, you can't. You can't because a lot of, at some point they're going to make you pay. Strom into the front court. Being harassed up top by Porter. Down low pass, never going to get there. Fancher picks it off, goes the other way. Fancher dishes it off, Miller. Opposite wing, good defense there by Jess Lamb. Right, down low, Fancher. Look to drive, good cut off there by the Eagles, and Burkholder lays it up and in. Does Porter, two points. Captains extend the lead to 23-20. Tough shot right there. Chris or Newport playing solid defense up front here, really causing some havoc for the Eagles. It's kind of a little bit of a, it's a straight man. It's what it is. I, it and, is. I was looking to see if it was a matchup zone or not. And, yeah. and the defensive effort from CNU is, is really going to pay dividends there. But a great layup by Cassidy Burkholder. Answers right back as a 23-22 CNU lead. Up top, Porter dishes it off the right. Down in the corner. Fancher thought about a three. And dribble drives down the baseline. No good. Cantrell went up for the block. The foul's going to go against Burkholder, though. Yeah. Cassidy, it's her first, team seventh. Oshie and Kelly bit on the pump fake there, and that opened up the lane, drawing the foul right there for Christopher Newport. Heading to the line, Fancher. For a pair. Looking to extend a one-point Christopher Newport lead. First shot's good. Get into the game for Bridgewater. Kara Camp win to the contest for CNU. It'll be Alicia Adams and Camry Green. 5.16 to go, first half, CNU 24, Bridgewater 22. Second on the way by Fancher is good, and it's a 25-22 captain's advantage. Cantrell gets it into Burkholder. More token pressure here from the captains in a full court set. Burkholder brings it across, the Eagles set the offense. Burkholder looks to drive, lays it up, rattles out. Mm. Tough break for Cassidy Burkholder. Captains pull the rebound, and they'll go the other way. Right, near side Fancher. Down low, Porter. Good ball movement there and an easy layup off the glass by Green. Biggest lead of the contest for CNU stands at a 27-22 advantage. Burkholder been doing a nice job these last few possessions, driving to the hoop. Let's see if they keep up that, that type of offense right there. Lamb, she's dangerous. Eagles just need to get her open. Cantrell looks around. She'll drive the lane against Fancher. Lays it up off the glass, draws the foul. That'll go against... Green, I believe, yes. See which number that is for Miss Green. That is her second. Team's 10th. The Eagles ahead of the line. Cantrell for a pair. That'll take a pair of shots here for the Eagles and try and trim down this Christopher Newport advantage. Looking ahead into the game for, this, for the captains, number 42, Takia Banks. Be her first action of the contest. Cantrell, first on the way. It's good. Rattles home, 27 23, captains lead. And Cantrell uh, coming off a great freshman year there. 2013-2014 ODAC Rookie of the Year averaged 11.5 points a game and a team high 7.3 rebounds per contest. Definitely relying on her this year for some steady offense. Yeah, there's just a big threat down, down low and improved that last year with her Rookie of the Year performance. Second shot's good, 27-24. Captain's advantage. Fancher, token pressure there again. Lamb stepped in the passing lane, just couldn't deflect it away. And good work there by Kara Campbell. Goes off the foot of Sam Porter the other way. Good defense there by Campbell. 
force the turnover. Bridgewater ball underneath the CNU hoop. 4.20 to go in the first half. Captains of the 27-24 lead. Cantrell gets it into Burkholder. Cassidy. Slowly up court, being well defended there. By number 30, Alicia Adams. Down low, finds Campbell. Good pass there by Kara Campbell to find a shrinking wide open O'Sheen Kelly. And that's a 27-26 CNU lead. Some great offense right there, unselfish play. That's how you get your points in college basketball. Some of the prettiest ball movement I've seen on the Eagles in some time. Jumper no good there by Adams. Rebound pulled down by Bridgewater. Burkholder comes the other way. Looking to put the Eagles back out in front. Burkholder lays it up. The floater underneath, no good. Rebound pulled down by Banks. Being harassed though by Burkholder and Kelly. Battle for the possession. Jump ball. Goes the way of CNU. Coach, <laughs> Coach Broderick barking at his players to make sure to maintain the ball and, you know, and keep it above your chest. You know, they, they'll mm -hmm. never get it there, but if you bring down waist level, it's always difficult. Mm, you're right. He's definitely barking at him. He's, he's dropped the jacket here. He's, he means business now. Fancher. Jumper on the way, good by Adams. The short corner. Sends a CNU lead to 29-26. Burkholder took a tough shot last possession down the court. Let's see what she tries to do this time. Dishes it off to Lamb. Lamb's jumper on the way, it's good. Timeout called by Coach Broderick. Jess Lamb excited about her bucket, mm -hmm. as she should be. Trims the CNU lead to 29-28. That's gonna be a full See if he's going to call 30-second timeout. He's going to call 30-second timeout. So we're going to keep it right here. Sign. 3 yeah. to go first half. CNU 29, Bridgewater 28. Bridgewater just kind of hanging right in there with the captains going back and forth. Yeah. CNU took a nice lead side. Bridgewater's uh, kind of just narrowly chipped it down, going back and forth, beginning to take care of the ball a little bit better. Yeah, it's definitely starting to smooth this game out a little bit. Jess Lamb really sparking the offense there those past few possessions. Uh, as you said, though, the game's smoothing out here. Turnover's going down, foul's going down. Looks like both teams have felt each other out here. We'll see where it goes in these last three minutes of the half. Coach Broderick firing in the CNU huddle, to say the least. Bridgewater's going to break its huddle. Head the other way. We'll bring it back again. As we said, 3.08 to go first half. Captains with a 29-28 lead. We see a new possession underneath the Bridgewater hoop. Put that in play. Adams gives it off to Fancher, and we're back. Fancher, near side, Thomas just checked in for the captains out of the timeout. Porter skipped past opposite wing, Fancher, up top, Thomas. Fancher looks to drive, dishes it off to Adams. Adams down low, Porter. Porter down to the baseline, dishes it off to Fancher. Jumper on the way from Thomas, no good. Battle for the rebounds. Gonna be a foul going against CNU. We'll see who it goes against. And I'll send Bridgewater to the charity stripe. Gonna go against number 30, Alicia Adams. It's her first. And the Eagles already in the double bonus. Eagles being rewarded right there for boxing out after giving up all those offensive rebounds earlier. Got an over the back call there. And brings him to the line here. Campbell heads to the stripe. Her first trip to the foul line is an Eagle. Campbell's first. No good, a little bit too hard. Couldn't go off the back iron. Coming in for the captain's number 41, Brianna Moses. And out goes to Kia Banks. Campbell to the line for her second. Looking to knot the game at 29 each. Campbell second on the way. Rattles out, rebound pulled down by Moses. Those are a couple free throws. If you're Kara Campbell, you'd like to get back. On the baseline, layup, no good there by Thomas. Good rebound pulled down by O'Sheen Kelly. Burkholder quickly to the front court. 2.25 to go in the first half. Down low, Campbell, she walked. Took a step a little bit too quick. It was mm -hmm. a, the, the play was set up, it was right there. It was. Kara knows what she did. And coach Willie not happy with her, but the, at, least, at least Kara knows. She's like, yeah, I know exactly what I did, Coach. It's, I, I goofed up, Yeah. to be yeah. frank. Definitely makes a coach's job easier when they, they realize their mistakes. Absolutely. Fancher into the front court, approaching the two minutes to go in the first half. Adams kicks it near side in the corner. Three ball, no good. Battle for the rebound underneath. Jump ball is going to go the other way. Good work there by Heather Cantrell against Sam Porter. Things will go the other way for Bridgewater. The captain's really struggling to hit anything outside the paint here early on. I don't think they've made a shot beyond the paint this, this whole evening. Monday heads in for Campbell. Good minutes provided there by Kara Campbell. 
Still a 29-28 CNU lead. 2.07 to play in the first frame. Cantrell gets it in. The Eagles going to slowly dribble towards the front court. That's Cassidy Burkholder. Burkholder looks around, finds Cantrell. Cantrell opposite wing, draws a double team. Gets herself out of it, finds Jess Lamb wide open near side. No good, just inside the wing. Ball goes out of bounds. Battle for the rebound. Goes the way of the Eagles. Eagles finally starting to get out of those double teams and find some open people on the perimeter now, and it's really opening up their offense. It's a nice thing with Heather Cantrell with a year under her belt. You know, she's going to see those double teams and be able to work her way out of them mm -hmm. much, much easier this year. Mm, experience is so key in college basketball, the systems, and that will definitely help her grow as a player. Monday has the ball stripped away. CNU looks to get it. Actually, gonna be out, she's going to be out of bounds is Fancher. Possession goes back to the Eagles. Coach Broderick on the near sideline, checking with the official on the call. He's definitely a fiery coach here. Not yeah, afraid he to show his emotions. Second year coach, he was an assistant at Bucknell prior to coming to Newport News. Layup, Burke Holder no good, second attempt at it. She'll draw the foul against Moses and earn a pair at the stripe. That's Moses, her first, and as we said, Eagles already in the double bonus. Burkholder heads to the line, looking to put Bridgewater back ahead. Burkholder, her first. That's good. Tides the contest up 29 apiece. And honestly, this contest has been back and forth. I, it, as the scoreboard shows, not much separation here between these two teams. Burkholder, the line for a second. There hasn't been much separation side to right, and that'll put Bridgewater back out in front of the back and forth affair, 30 to 29. Fancher slows things up, gonna set the offense up with a buck 30 to play in the first half. Fancher opposite wing, skip pass near side for Adams. Opposite wing, Thomas, back to Adams. 13 left in the shot clock, driving the lane, no good. Adams, battle for the rebound underneath, Moses came up with it, now Kelly off the rebound, she'll walk. That one hurts right there. You rip down the rebound. You've been getting killed on the offensive boards all game. You finally get one, and you just barely move your foot there. Fancher gets it in. Drawing the double team underneath. Good work there by Kelly to draw the, the jump ball as Porter came free. Still going to be seeing you possession. Stays with it on the alternating arrow. Fancher. Down low, Porter. Couldn't have it stripped away up off the glass. No good. Porter grabs her own board, lays it up and in, and she'll draw the foul. See if it goes against Cantrell or Kelly. Will go against O'Sheen Kelly. Or O'Sheen is her second, team's eighth. That'll send Porter to the stripe for the conventional three-point play. Seeing you out in front by 31-30 tally. And that one really hurts Kelly there, getting starting to build up some fouls there late in this first half, committing one there, definitely going to hurt. Lee Han into the game for the Eagles for Kelly. Porter, free throw on the way, rattles in and out. Rebound pulled down by Cantrell. Bridgewater going to slowly go back to the offensive end. Burkholder calls out the offense, sets up shot for the Eagles. Cassidy, look for a flashing Lee Han. Now down low for Lamb, has it stripped away. CNU goes the opposite way. Now in the front court, taken away by Lee Han. So good work by. That's not Caitlin, I'm sorry, that's Jesslyn Monday getting back to four quickly. Eagles need to work on off the ball movement here. It looks like they're struggling to get open. Burkholder looks around, foul's going to be called 25 feet from the hoop against Porter. A little bit too much contact. Burkholder's going to go to the line for a pair. And Eagles got a chance to jump back out in the lead here late, late in the first half. Porter, that's her first. Burkholder. It's good. Ties the contest up 31 apiece. 39 and a half seconds to play in the first half. Bridgewater has hung right with CNU over the opening 19 and a half minutes of play. Burkholder, second, hands Bridgewater the lead, 32-31. Fancher, opposite side. Eight second differential between game clock and the shot clock. Jumper on the way. No good, didn't even draw a net from Adams. Good effort there by Jesslyn Monday to chase it down, out of bounds. Mm -hmm. Touching goes to the Eagles, shot clock's off, 
nine to play in the contest. Yeah, looks um, like looks like the Eagles are gonna get one last chance here in the first half. Let's see what they set up here and see if they can get one more on the board. Yeah, of course I misspoke there. Yeah, still just the first half side. Yeah. <laughs> Burke Holder is gonna break it across the timeline with 18 ticks to play in the first half. Which is an opposite side, Lamb draws a double team. On the opposite sideline, Lamb dribbles her way out of it, nine left. Lamb looks around fighting down low for Lehan, lays it up and off the glass and it's good, Caitlin Lehan. Way to move the ball around the arc there. I've, they've been trying to do that all afternoon. They finally do it here at the very end of the first half. Bridgewater possession to start up the second half. Strom just been a little, a little off on that first pass to start the possession. Been a little, a little off point there. Uh, Got to get that settled down here. Short jumper there by Cassidy Burkholder should help settle the Eagles in. Bridgewater with a five-point advantage over the Captains. You're right, though, Asaya. Jessie's really got to settle herself in here in the second half of play. Jumper on the way. Stone, and hit the, I believe, hit the, yeah, hit the shot clock. It's out of play. Going to go the other way. There's no good. My coach Broderick not happy about it, but he's been around long enough to know that that's the rule. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think Stone liked that one very much either. Burkholder with possession, moves into the front court. Burkholder getting harassed, draws the double team, but she'll travel first. Turns it over. Hands the ball back to CNU. Captain's right in front of the Bridgewater bench. Put it back in play. And that'll be Miller who gets it into Cox. CNU playing a pretty deep roster today. We've seen a lot of people jumping into the game here. Eagles trying to get a little more out of their bench here. Only two points coming from Lehan off the bench. It's the beauty of non-conference play side. You can get a lot of people in there. It doesn't really hurt you for later on down the road. You can kind of see who your players are going to be, especially come, uh, come conference play. Mm -hmm. Cox kicks it over to Ponzo. Now in the corner, three ball on the way by Miller. No good. Nobody's hit a three yet tonight, no. Si. I mean, I think as well as I remember with CNU, their players were so athletic and could take you off the bounce so well, and I think it just gave us some matchup problems one-on-one. Um, -on -one. So we said, let's throw a zone at them. Let's make them, you know, make it from the perimeter, see what we can do, and, and obviously it worked well for us. And sets the offense up for the Eagles on the wing. Burkholder drives the lane, lays it up off the glass, and in two points for Cassidy Burkholder to their due diligence. CNU possession. Moving it up the floor, Miller works it back to Ponzo. Yeah, we'll see how that break affects both teams. Long breaks, sometimes switch momentum up here. Eagles came out of the gates hot. Let's see if they can stay hot. Bridgewater wisely went out and shot a couple buckets there during the break. Cameron mm -hmm. Green down low with the shot and the score. It's good. That's a 38-33 Bridgewater lead. Strom into the front court. Actually now across the timeline. I spoke a little too soon. <laughs> Opposite wing finds Burkholder. Burkholder looks around. Down low, she had Lamb. Pass couldn't quite get there, and the ball goes out of bounds. Off the CNU defender, Bridgewater possession underneath its own hoop. 18.04 to go, 17 seconds left on the shot clock. Yeah, while that one was tipped out of bounds, I like the vision. They're starting to look up, see their open, uh, open players there. Cantrell gets it in, into Kelly underneath. Kelly's baby hook falls. Good bucket by Oshie. Mm. Kelly in a tough situation. She went up with the left with the baby hook, mm. made it count. I don't think she's missed a shot yet. I think you're right. I think she's 6-6 six six side. That's going to be the third foul against Cameron Green. And Oshin Kelly's going to go to the line for one and look to extend this lead for Bridgewater to eight, already to game high seven. Porter looking to check in for the captains. Kelly's shot all the way, no good. Rebound pulled down by CNU and Kendra Stone. Captains up the front court very quickly. Ponzo lays it up off the glass and a break and good. And it's a 40 to 35 Bridgewater lead. Strom. Looks like they're going to try and trap Strom here around half court and wisely passes out of it. Finds Burkholder, lays it up and under and in. Cassidy Burkholder with a bucket. Extends the lead back to 742 35. Green dishes it off to Miller. Miller looks down, dribbles in, jumper at the line, rattles home. Going back and forth, and it's a 42-37 Eagles lead. Yeah, we're starting to see some buckets fall here, starting to pick up the pace a little. Strom kicks it, going to skip over to Lamb. Lamb's going to set up the offense in the opposite wing, back up top to Cantrell. Finishes off to Strom, 20 left on the shot clock. 
Lamb looks around, Smiles drives the lane, lays it up off the glass, couldn't get it to fall. Kelly's going to be in there for the rebound, though, keeps possession, draws a double team, looks to skip it back out in the fresh 30, but couldn't get it away from Ponzo, and Ponzo's going to move back down the floor for the captains. Ponzo lays it up, blocked away by Cantrell. Nice play by Cantrell right there, standing tall, stopping the fast break. Burkholder moves it back up, it was an outstanding effort there by Cantrell. CNU was looking for some easy points. Kicks it to Strom for the three ball from the wing. No good. Well short. Rebound pulled down by Kelly. Layup her first miss of the evening. Rebound pulled down by CNU. Cox goes the other way. Ponzo. Spin move in the lane. Lays it up. No good. Battle underneath. Green looks to come up with it and does. She's going to be fouled, I believe, by Jess Lamb. Eagles getting some open shots on the offensive end now there. Uh, looks like CNU over committing a bit, trying to go for some steals, and uh, Bridgewater's capitalizing. Just couldn't make that one count. Could Kelly look for what her, gosh, that would be her, I run down through my numbers here, right? That would have been her 14th point of the evening. Mm -hmm. She could make it count. Yeah, big night for her so far. Captain's possession underneath. Cox gets it in, up top to Ponzo. Swings opposite side Stone, now brings it to the top of the key. Back to Cox. Cox sends Stone down low. Miller, top of the key, Porter. Down low, Stone. Miller, 15 left on the, time, on the shot clock. Mm. Good defense played there by Kathy Burke. Going to step into the passing lane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good reaction right there, like you said. Guy just looked for those passing lanes, the vision on defense. Bird checks into the game for Stone. During the last break, Porter checked in as well for the captains. Ponzo puts it in play. CNU swings it to the wing. Good job by Burkholder. She's going to go the other way. Cassidy. Drives it off the turnover. It's a stripped away out of bounds. Good defensive you know, recovery there by Lauren Cox yeah. to get back at the defensive end. Yeah, you got to love that hustle no matter if you're an Eagles fan or a captain's fan. Keeps the game interesting. It does. Bridgewater looking to get it in. Cantrell. Heather gets it in the corner to Burkholder. Cassie looks to pull up, now drives the lane. Dishes it off to Lamb. She is driving, draws a double team, lays it up and in. Jessica Lamb with the bucket and a 44-37 Eagles lead. Nice recovery right there from Lamb to, as she bobbled the pass from Burkholder. Yeah, Cass going to get called for that a little bit too much on the defensive side for Cassidy. She'll pick up the foul. Cass, it looks like it's going to be her first. Team second. End of the game for the captains comes Makita Wright. Wright heads in for Ponzo. Ponzo doing a good job here in the first four plus minutes of the second half of really trying to force the action against the Eagles. Mm -hmm. Cox over to right, right up top, Porter. Near side, Miller back up top to right, swings it opposite wing to Cox. Driving the lane, Porter, jumper, foul line, no good. Battle for the rebound, going to get her own board. Cox up off the glass again, no good. Battle underneath, Cantrell trying to come up with it. Jump ball, possession's going to stay with the captains. Good effort there by Heather Cantrell, though, to draw the jump ball. Yeah, effort like that, it always switches the momentum a little bit your way, gets you pumped up, and uh, gives you some energy on the defensive end. Underneath, Captain's Cox with a fresh 30. Just to get it into Porter. Good defensive effort again by Cantrell. She steps out. Jumper on the way. The runner, no good. Burkholder with the rebound. Cassidy moves it up the floor. Going to set the offense from the key. Pulls it out to Cantrell. Hedrick drives the lane, lays it up with the right off the glass. No good, but she'll draw the foul. And head to the line for a pair. Foul goes against number 20, Devin Bird for Bird. That is her second, team second of the second half. Nice little handoff there at the top of the arc from Burkholder to Cantrell. Kind of a screen handoff there opened up the floor for Cantrell. First on the way. It is good. Into the contest for the Eagles comes Caitlin Lehan in for the captains. Comes Cameron Green. Kelly heads to the bench for Bridgewater. Bird heads to the bench for the captains. It's a eight point lead for Bridgewater. It's biggest lead of the contest. On the way, second shot, rattles home. And it's a 46-37 Bridgewater lead. Side right. Miller, down low, Porter, brings it into green. She's going to be fouled underneath. Mm. Looks like the Eagles switched into a bit of a zone here coming out of the break. Yeah, Bridgewater, I think he's a little bit of a size down in the poster. They might try and double team green a little bit. Foul's going to go against Burkholder. It's her second, team's third. 
So Kasson, no foul trouble here. It's for second of the ball game. Green off the inbounds. Jumper no good. Burkholder tips it out. Nobody can get the rebound for the Eagles right. Finds Porter. Porter pulls up just inside the free throw line. Now dishes it off underneath the green. Lays it up and in. Easy bucket there for Camry Green. Mm -hmm. Strom. She, she's definitely the best player here for Christopher Newport. Uh, the guy slow her down. Uh, if you're seeing you, you want to try and get the ball to her all evening. Lehan, no good. Should have used the glass there. Rebound pulled down by Miller. Mm. Foul that. Foul 85 feet from the hoop. Going to go against number 22, Caitlin Lehan. Yeah, Coach Willie's not liking that one. Pesky reach in way away from the play there. I think that they were looking, uh, they, they were a little bit disappointed though that they made the call because of, uh, they, they thought Caitlin had defensive position mm -hmm. there and couldn't get around. Yeah, I think you're right. A little frustrated there with the officials. Cox brings it into the front court for the captains. Flip it out. Right, up top, Porter. Miller, up top to right, swings it opposite side, Cox. Top of the key, Porter looks to drive, lays it up. Good block there by Lehan. And uh, she wasn't, wasn't stationary. Going to be a couple quick fouls on Caitlin Lehan. It'll get O'Sheen Kelly back into the contest. Mm -hmm. Lehan giving some solid minutes off the bench here early for the Eagles, though. Looks like she can be a presence down low as the season progresses. Porter heads to the stripe. That's Lehan's third, team's fifth. Shot is good. Trims the Bridgewater lead to 46 40. Kelly comes in for Lehan. It's good minutes there by Caitlin. Her first. Of course, the first game of her career and her first opportunity. Yeah. Porter heads back to the stripe for a second. On the way, it is good. And it's a 46-41 captain's lead, uh, Bridgewater lead. My apologies. Yeah, Christopher Newport's still trying to trap there, and they did get a steal there on the press. It worked well as Lamb threw an errant pass. Wright drives the lane, kicks it out up top. Cox swings it opposite side. Miller back to the top of the point for Cox. Near side right to the wing. Porter. Good ball movement here by the captains. Top right, three ball on the way. Rattles out, rebound. Cantrell tried to come up with it, but couldn't. Green comes up with it for the captains at a fresh 30. Bridgewater just going to have to box out a little bit better. Three ball on the way from right again. Rattles out, Green with the rebound underneath. Up off the glass, it is good. The Eagles just going to, she's going to be trouble all yeah. evening long. And the Eagles with a turnover. Yeah, you just got to be aware there where the, where the clock is while you're bringing it up. Opposite side right. Skips it to Miller, reaches out and saves the ball from going out of bounds. Up top right again. Mm -hmm. Eagles willing to give up a three right here because Christopher Newport hasn't proven they can make them, but they're really on Cameron Green down there. Good defense there by Burkle to step in the pass and then it dribbles out. Scoops out of bounds off a CNU player. Bridgewater will take the possession back. And you're right, Si, I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bunker down into post. Mm -hmm. If I'm Bridgewater here, and, and give CNU the three ball. They haven't shown they're going to make it, mm -hmm. so just go ahead and give it to them until they prove otherwise. Yeah, they got about two or three buys on Camry Green almost every possession now. Pender, slowly into the front court. Being harassed by Wright, dishes it off to Burkholder. Cassidy drives down the baseline, stepped on the baseline out of bounds. Question goes back to the captains. 11-18 to play in the ball game. Bridgewater 47, CNU 45. The Eagles have really dictated the second half, but the captains, a little bit of a run here. They brought it back to a two-point game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, captains maybe starting to show some mid-range game here, uh, stretching it out a little bit, and let's see if they can keep hitting their shots. Porter, three ball on the way by Miller. Rattles home off the glass. Gives the captains a 48-47 to 47 lead over top of Bridgewater. First three-pointer of the game for either team right there. Holder to Pender. Pender retreats again as a tip in the air. Burkholder's going to have to get it across the timeline. Cannot. Tries to use a timeout. The Eagles turn the ball over again. This press is really getting to him right now. Good timeout here from Coach Willie. Captain's possession on the opposite sideline. They quickly get it in. And that's Cox. Cox is to dribble by Strom. Cannot. Miller. For Porter. Porter. Yep. Mm -hmm. Didn't put the ball on the floor first. Nope. And that time, Coach Broderick had no arguments. He knew it. Yeah. The ball's going to go the other way. Yeah, it looks like Eagles going to stay in a 2-3 zone here to start out of the timeout there. Let's see if they keep that up. Cantrell gets it into land and Burkholder. Eagles work it backwards. Burkholder up court to Lamb. Lamb looks around, now drives the lane, dishes it off for Kelly. Kelly underneath, lays it up off the glass at end. 
Oh, Sheen Kelly, her 14th point of the evening, and Bridgewater regains the lead, 49-48. Yeah, her and Camry Green going back and forth a little here down in the post. Now to keep O'Sheen out of foul trouble. The game rolls along another walk mm. there, again by Porter. Needed to put the ball on the hardwood first and did not. Ball yeah. goes back to Bridgewater in front of the CNU bench. It'll be Cantrell out of bounds. Back-to-back -back travels out of the timeout. Very nice for the Eagles. Maybe switching the momentum back a little. Burkholder, um, Lamb. Cantrell now back to Burkholder. Burkholder gets it across to Lamb. Seeing you probably won't pull out of this full court press for the remainder of the contest. Lamb drives the baseline, lays it up and in. And Bridgewater extends the lead back to three in a 51-48 tally. Lamb showing off her quickness there, able to get by the much bigger Camry Green. Nice play. Right up top, Porter. Last two times down the floor, that's her third straight turnover. Third straight mm -hmm. turnover for Sam Porter, and the ball's gonna go the other way. Captain's this, having a little bit of trouble taking care of the basketball. This defense is uh, pretty effective on Camry Green so far. Uh, they're, they're trying to get it down to her, and they just can't do it. Burkholder brings it across the timeline with the help of Cantrell. Draws a double team, dishes it off to Kelly underneath. Kelly up and off the glass. No good. Rebound pulled down by Green. Good, a good strong move by O'Sheen Kelly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, her post moves are definitely very strong this year. Green kicks it out to right. Right drives the lane, kicks it out to Miller for a three ball. On the way, no good. Wright's going to pull down the rebound. Jumper from the line, no good. Battle underneath, Burkholder tries to tip it away and does and finds Jess Lamb. Lamb drives the other way, wisely pulls it out as the Eagles look to set up the offense. Cantrell to Strum, hands it off. Over to Lamb in the opposite wing. Cantrell, top of the key, Burkholder. Near side wing, looks around, 10 left on the shot clock. Burkholder, Cantrell, Cantrell with six left. It's the drive lane, has it stripped away, stolen away by Camry Green. Captains go the other way, quickly, dishes it off. Miller lays it up and in, off the glass. And it's a 51-50 Bridgewater lead. Yeah, this second half of action been a lot smoother, less turnovers, less fouls. It's been much more entertaining. Turnover there from Strom, stolen away by Porter, lays it up on the break, no good. Rebound pulled down by Burkholder. Tough break for the captains. Burkholder finds Cantrell as it's stripped away. The captains are going to look to run. He's got a two on two right on the break. Lays it up and in off the glass. And it's a 52 to 51 captain's advantage. Timeout called by the Eagles. It's moving in Fancher. Opposite side, Ponzo up top. Stone. Side. Also into the game's Adams. Inside Fancher, it's inside the three-point line. A little bit hard on the shot. Goes off a of Burkholder out of bounds. Possession stays at the captain's 13 left on the shot clock. Fancher. Up top there to Adams. Adams, Porter. Porter up top. Nine left on the shot clock. Swings it through Ponzo. Good defense by the Eagles. Jumper on the way by Adams is good. Puts the captains back out in front, 54-53. And uh, seeing you're going to stay in the press here, let's see if the Eagles can uh, break it here and uh, get the offense set up on the uh, half court. Burkholder quickly up the floor to Lamb. Drives the lane, dishes off the Burkholder short jumper. No good, battle for the rebound goes the way of Adams and the captains. Yeah, she kind of short-armed that one. Uh, not a great shot attempt. Ponzo down the other end. Charge drawn by Cantrell. It was a great, great call. Cantrell was set underneath. She wasn't too deep. Coach Broderick disappointed about it, but that call's going to happen every single time she was planted. Mm -hmm. Ball's going to go the other way. Yeah, good thing she got that charge call, too. Uh, Could have been a three-point play if they had called her for blocking. Cantrell gets it into Burkholder, still in the full-court presser of the captains. Cantrell works back with Burkholder. Five off the shot clock so far. He was going to get it across the timeline in a hurry. Cantrell not going to get it there. Time second call on the Eagles yet again. Bridgewater having a lot of trouble breaking the CNU full court press. Yeah, that 10 second violation. I believe that's the third one they've had this half. It is a 26 turnover of the game for Bridgewater. Captains have had, I believe, 18 themselves. Fancher dumps it off to Ponzo. Opposite wing up top, Adams. Adams swings near side. Fancher wants to drive, dribble, penetrate. Good defensive effort by Kara Campbell. The Eagles going to quickly move to the offensive end, and it's Burkholder. 
Yeah, finally they don't have to deal with the press right there as CNU doesn't buy a bucket. Near side, Lamb. Campbell down low, beautiful pass again for Cantrell. Gonna draw the foul. He's like got poked in the eye there, did Heather. She'll head to the charity stripe. Hopefully she'll be okay. Foul's gonna go against number three, Kendra Stone. That's her second. Sixth and a half will be in the bonus the rest of the way. Over the remaining 520 of the contest, Cantrell's gonna head to the charity stripe for a pair. Yeah, that was a hard foul right there. Yeah, it was, and there's another beautiful pass by Karen Campbell. You underneath, and she just kind of delivered a sharp pass to Cantrell. She couldn't make it work on the off the glass. She's going to earn a pair at the stripe. Cantrell's first shot is good. That'll tie the contest up at 54 each. Yeah, you're right about Kara Campbell. She's had a solid game coming off the bench here. The transfer, some new blood into the program, and she's definitely shown her stuff. Transfer from Widener, which is up in the suburban Philadelphia, up in Collegeville. Oh, that's her sinus, my apologies. Still wider suburban Philadelphia. It's one of those Division Three Philadelphia schools. Second on the way from Cantrell. Rattles home and puts Bridgewater out in front by 55 to 54 tally. 5.18 to go in regulation. Here's side Miller, three ball on the way, way off the mark. Green chases it down. Lamb going to try to keep it in, and it's going to go off of Porter out of bounds. Possession goes back to the Eagles. Yeah, Christopher Newport's still really struggling with that deep ball, but they are not shying away from it. Cantrell gets it into Burkholder. She'll easily break the press this time, but draws a trap up top. Gets it off to Campbell, out of bounds off the captains. Burkholder going to have a quick conversation with Coach Willie in front of us to get a little bit of help getting through the press. Cantrell works it in for Burkholder. Burkholder flips it around to Cantrell. She draws the trap. Captain's trapping everywhere. It looks almost at times mm -hmm. like they have six players on the floor. Yeah. Kelly up off the glass, no good. Rebound underneath, pulled down by Green. Yeah, CNU not afraid to move on the defensive end. They're really double teaming just about everybody. Fancher, oh, I'm sorry, not Fancher, that's Cox. Down low, Adams. Three ball on the way by Miller, no good. Long rebound pulled down by Lamb. Lamb's gonna go the other way. Pushes it over to Burkholder on the break. Layup. Look for the up and under there. Did Burkholder going to draw the foul instead and head to the line for a pair. I think it's Cressy's first missed free throw of the evening. Yeah, she's pretty solid from the line. Yeah, she always is. Second on the way. And we just say uh, that. Yeah. And she misses the second one. <laughs> I guess we jinxed her. Rebound pulled down by Porter. The captains will go the other way. Go down underneath Green. No good. Rebound pulled down by Kelly. She wisely holds it above the chest there on the board. Yeah, Green really been slowed down this half. Eagles doing a great job on it. Lamb pulls it out near side wing. Gives it off to Burkholder. To Lamb, has a little trouble with the handle. To Kelly underneath, off the glass and in. O'Sheen Kelly, 16 this evening for O'Sheen Kelly. And Bridgewater extends the lead to three to 57-54 tally. Great spin move right there for Kelly down the post. Right, well defended there by Kelly. Just stuff in the corner, looked about a three ball there, thought about it, did Cox, now three ball on the way by Wright, rims out, rebound pulled down by Lamb. Yeah, the real benefit for the Eagles here, when you can't make a shot, you can't press, and that's really helping out Bridgewater right now. It really is, Cy, you're exactly right. Lamb with a big rebound there, moves him into the front court, over to Campbell. Now Lamb, she looks around, 14 left in the shot clock. Lamb, dishes it off to Burkholder, Cassidy. It's the drive the lane, pulls up for the short jumper. Catches the front of the rim, but no good. Rebound goes the other way for the captains. Miller pulls it out. Cox off to right. Right in the opposite wing, down low, green. She finds Porter, drives the lane, jumper. Nothing but the bottom of the cup. A tough shot, finds the net. It's a 57-56, Eagles lead, Lamb. With the pressure, gets it across the timeline, dishes it off to Burkholder. Cassie lays it up, no good. Green pulls the rebound. The Eagles were in no hurry there to get that shot off. Burkholder kind of forced one. Yeah. Other way goes the captain's layup, no good there from right. Cantrell comes down with the board. Yeah, Burkholder. back to back, to back missed layups there. Uh, Going to neutralize out there. Quickly up the floor, Campbell had the, the, the layup. Trying to find Lamb, kick ball. 2.31 to go, Bridgewater possession, 57-56, the Eagles lead. Yeah, she really had Lamb there too. It would have been great if she could have found her. Absolutely, Cantrell, Bridgewater possession underneath its own hoop. Looking to get it in play and does, finds Lamb. 
Eagles set the offense. At the top of the key, Jess Lamb. Looking for a screen from Burkholder and gets one. The Eagles didn't roll off of it. Burkholder up top 12 left in the shot clock. Burkholder lays it up, up and under, no good. Rebound pulled down by Kelly. She goes back up for the shot, no good, but she's going to draw a pair at the line. No, Sheen Kelly was 16. Jess Strom has been fairly silent. You know, she has uh, four points, but uh, if I go to the extended stats, I think she probably has more turnovers than points scored. Rebound pulled down by Green off the missed shot by Kelly. Yeah, she just hasn't been able to get open beyond the arc either, and she's their best three-point shooters. That, that hurts her offense a little. Captain's back to the offense, then Porter's up. She walked, certainly. Yep, did not put the ball on the hardwood before she took her step. Mm -hmm. Now, if, if I'm the Eagles right now, I take my time. I don't try to force a shot here. We got two minutes left in the game. Milk it down a little bit. CNU's pulled off that pressure. Uh, the, the, the press, they're finally out of it. Strom back into the ball game, back into the front court for the Eagles. Just off to Burkholder. Your right side, you're, you're in no rush here if you're the Eagles. And you want to try and that's an errant pass there. Looking down low for Kelly, and CNU's going to go the other way. Jumper on the break, was looking to be on the way by right. She decides to pull out. Porter looks around trying to find Green up top. Finds Cox instead, now right. Three ball land, didn't pull up. Ponzo, back into the game for the captains. Right, tries to get it by Bridgewater with some good defense. Ponzo drives the baseline, pushes Cantrell off. Jumper no good, going to draw the foul. Wow. I thought that was, that was a shot clock almost. I'm not sure how you make that call. I thought Cantrell, one, had position. Two, it was a clean block, and they go the other way. Yeah, you can tell though right there, seeing you a little scared to take a three-pointer as uh, the confidence might be a little low from outside. Ponzo's going to head to the line. That's the third foul of the contest for Cantrell. 1.18 to go. Bridgewater with a 57-56 lead over CNU. Ponzo, her shot on the way. It's good. Finds the bottom of the net. We're tied at 57 each. Ponzo takes a deep breath. Couple of dribbles in the air. Rattles out, rebound pulled down by Cantrell. We're tied at 57 each. Still no pressure there from CNU, and the Eagles moving mm. easily into the front court. You can't afford a turnover right here. That's all you don't want is a turnover. Exactly. That's uh, the last couple trips down the floor. Bridgewater's had trouble taking care of the basketball. Strom moves it around, swings it to Burkholder. Down low. That's the turnover he didn't want. Ponzo, moves it up across. That's a double dribble called him Ponzo. Wow. Eagles catching a break there. If you can, try to work it to her. If you can't, try and kick it back out. Burkholder's had a solid game. Maybe get her the ball here. Strom brings it in for the Eagles. Jess swings it near side lamb. She draws a double team and works her way out of it. 20 seconds or so differential between game clock and the shot clock. Lamb works her way around to Strom. Strom down low. Kelly, Kelly up on the glass and in. Oh, Sheen Kelly, her 18th point of the evening. And this was actually Cass's second buzzer beater in the calendar year of 2014. Um, she had one against Shenandoah. It was actually a half-court shot. So uh, time winding down, we were down. Um, she let it fly from half-court, and we won. And then, lo and behold, come back uh, against CNU. Different situation. Um, in the paint, we're like, get the ball to the paint, they're not going to foul. Uh, get a good look, get as good a look as you can. And she did, and uh, you know, the rest is history. Cantrell gets it into Burkholder, between the legs, Cassidy drives the lane, lays it up, and it oh. falls! And it falls! Time is expired of the contest, and Bridgewater takes a 61 to 60 win over top of CNU. I think there's going to be some time put back in the clock here. Yeah, they, 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 it drained off. Yeah, and in the last minute of the game, you know, we went back and forth a couple times. Um, I believe O'Sheen had a score, then they came down and scored, put the ball in Cassidy's hands in the last uh, possession of the game, and it truly was who had the ball last. And uh, we did, and it was a great win for our program that year. Don't think you can. Tips it on the inbounds, nothing's going to happen. Ball game. Bridgewater with a 61 59 victory over CNU. What a fantastic win for Jean Willie and her team in the season opener. As you said, Cy, you know, they, they, they held on. They did what they needed to do to get a big win over top of a captain's team that's typically one of the top teams in the region. Yeah, it wasn't always pretty, Tim, but, hey, it doesn't have to be pretty to get a win.